Howdy y'all. On this one here, we're just gonna, you know, the shower still is in the front bathroom, but it's not anchored down. So on this one, we're just kind of finishing that up just to get it anchored in there. Not finishing the shower, we got a long ways to go. But when I originally made this little cubby there, I put drywall in on that those two walls there that are just now two by fours, only because that's how it was when I took the last shower stall out. But we took those uh, sheets out and then it just left a little bit too much room for the shower stall to sit in there. But it was actually perfect because I just needed to put in a two by four thickness wise and the shower slides in there and fits perfectly. And we're just putting a little braces around the top end. So I'll have something to screw the shower into. So just slid into place and I sit there and contemplate how I did. And then we'll talk about how I get it level here. All right, now that we got it sitting in there, I mean, I could, it's not bolted in, so I'm just trying to level it out here. And we're getting close. Uh, like most mobile homes or single wise, especially, the outer ends are always going to be sagging a bit because of all the weight from the walls and the roof compared to, you know, center of the house or where the metal beams are. So just kind of trying to put a shim in here. So we just got it. Uh, hammer it up with a chisel and then we'll put a shim in there in the front maybe one or two here and then try to get some in the back if I can reach my arm around there when I put the back end uh, shims back there and then in the end I'm going to shove a bunch of uh, mortar uh, underneath here in the center spot to strengthen it up and keep it uh, level but that's where we're at right now. All right, so looking in here, I did just, I got one shim right now. I've been kind of adjusting it. I'll put more shims once I screw all this and get it all set into place. But um, this little level in the midpoint, looks like we're level there. I hold it up to other places here. Where we're at here. Oh, that doesn't look level. There we go. And when we hold it up here, level up here on top, go over to the other side, and level up there, go on the sides here, level there, and this side looks good, right here. Good. And most importantly, in there it looks good. So we'll so we'll screw it down around the perimeters. Put some more shims down here just to tighten it up, and then hopefully all will be well. And I can put some mortar in there underneath at some point, drill a hole, and continue on. All right, so what I decided to do here is use just a drill bit and countersink a bunch of holes around the top perimeter. On the left side, I only had a couple two by fours that I could sink into, but along that back end on the right side, we had a two by four going along the whole way. So I was able to put in a ton of holes and screws, and then I'm just evening out the top with a two by four so that I can put a level piece of drywall up there. And then here, it's time to do the nerve wracking part of actually drilling holes in the side of the wall here for my shower valve. And, uh, you know, once you get it, it's going to be where it is. And, you know, it's a little bit bigger than the shower valve handle, so there's a little leeway, but I think I did good. So it was a little dance party USA. So then just one more hole in the middle there at the top for the shower head. And then we went around the back side here and we're just making a bracket so I can you know, tie the valve to it and because it has, it's a little bit sunk in on the other side. And uh, so, yeah, so we just uh, made a little jig here and hopefully it'll be strong enough to hold the shower valve. And then speaking of the shower valve, I don't like the single valve ones that they have. Most people have these days where it's just like you turn the handle and it goes past the cold over to the hot. I like the old style two valve so you can control your hot and cold and the flow. So I'm just reusing the old one. So just re 
placing all the uh, O-rings and we'll talk about how that went here in a second. So this is pretty cool. This uh, valve here that I'm going to use for the shower used to be, you know, it wasn't too bad. just looked a little corroded. So I just soaked it here in some uh, simple green. Well, not really green. This one's the lavender. It's on the softy like that. Scented one, so that's why it's purple. But anyway, yeah, we soaked it in there overnight. And it really brightened up all the threads. Cleaned out the insides. So now we can take these valves that I put the new gaskets on. The little O-rings and seals. And we can put them back in here. And hopefully we'll have a new shower valve good as new. Alright, so we'll, put the, we'll get to work on putting those in there. All right, time to use this thing that I've been using on the uh, ceilings for the lights to see if we can drill a hole through the Advantech under the shower here in the front bathroom. Oh, oh yay. Got to move some good stuff here. Let's see if we can get this out of the way. We have a hole here and here. This is where I thought it was going to end up, but it's actually going to end up right here. So we'll drill in there. I can't record it at the same time, so we'll do it, see if I get it done, and then show you. All right, there it is. You got the part out of there. It ended up being a little bit farther on this side than where it was supposed to have been, but it's all right as long as I can get the drain on there we'll be good to go i think yep and there we did we just went in there we just got it hand tightened here just to see if it works and looks like there's plenty enough room to get a tool in there to tighten it up when need be get the plumbing in there but now i'm gonna just get some uh mortar in there a little mortar base to tighten it up on the bottom all righty all right time to get a little dusty here and just mixing up some mortar, put some mortar in there, put some water. I used stone veneer mortar, uh, only used it because it was the cheapest I could find. I don't think I need anything special because it just needs to be sand that sticks together. And I think that'll work pretty well. So we'll talk about that. All right, here we are the next day and it's almost dry. You can still see it's a little wet down there, but anyway, um, just wanted to only have, I'm able to feel it when I put my hand down here, I can feel the, about right there is where I can feel the mortar. So it made it out there, so almost half. So I just wanted to test to see if it made a difference. And when I step on this side, it oh, it's so tight. And then you can kind of hear the difference. Well, maybe not, maybe not on the camera, but anyway, I can feel it kind of flex a little bit on this side and it's stiff on this one. So yeah, that, that makes a big difference. So I'll go underneath there and throw some up from underneath in the gap there um because i can't reach it obviously from this side so we'll go do that well, what do we have here new tool tuesday even though it's a sunday we have so we got all the drywall up here that's not taped and mudded and finished so i don't want to hand sand so they were having a sale at the good old harbor freight these are normally 150 and they were on sale for 99 so I went and picked one up because even the cheapest ones on Amazon, at least the ones with the pole, are at least a hundred bucks and they don't get the best reviews. So this one gets a pretty good review for being Harbor Freight and just a cheaper end one in general. So hopefully it'll work well. I don't think we'll be doing any drywall finishing anytime soon, but we got the tool for that. And we picked up some you know sanding discs as well. And then we picked up this cheap little $10 door knob and lock jig so i can work on the doors that i have for my entries to the bedrooms and bathrooms uh, they just have one hole drilled out for just end caps because i think they're supposed to be sliders for closets but we're going to turn them into bedroom doors because they are pretty skinny and mobile homes have skinny ones 
skinny doorways, especially single wides, and some this spongy uh, sand pads for drywall stuff too. One of these to make sure I did all my wiring properly on the outlets, which I think I did, so. But we picked it up anyway, and then just a little cut off Japanese style pull saw and a pair of gloves, so. Little score since I was in all the way in town to get uh, something this over at the Harbor Freight, and it's not in my town, it's town over, so get a bunch of things while I'm there. But anyway, woohoo, always happy to get new tools. All right. All right, yeah, so I didn't do too much on the shower, but I've just been busy doing this kind of stuff here. This is a client that I worked on, their plaster wall was all messed up, so I patched uh, some big chunks and big cracks and there you go it looks pretty good i think and then this was above their shower where they had a leak so i cut out a big rectangle and framed it in to put a big patch piece in there and all that torn paper i put some wood glue up there to make it you know not permeable anymore and then we put some uh mud up there sanded it down Oh, I used a uh, little orbital sander, and oh man, it was so dusty. So I would have loved to have that new sander that I just showed you back there, but we didn't. But oh well, we got it sanded pretty well and painted, and they were happy. And I did some other jobs for them, but those are a couple of the big ones. And then other things I've been doing is tearing apart that white truck I got. And so we're just trying to get that done too, so I can get it out of here and not look like a junkyard. And then the neighbors were doing this. And a lot behind me here, so sad. They're clearing it. They're gonna put a double wide in there. But yeah, just cutting all the giant trees. Sad to see them go, but it's the way of my neighborhood these days. But anyway, so yeah, just doing that. And I'm gonna go back and do another job up near my mom's house. I've been doing work on her house too. So hopefully we'll get some more work done on the house, but this is why we haven't shown too much. So take care, y'all, and we'll see you on the next one.